Are you nervous? Why do you ask that? Are you nervous? Yeah, kind of. I feel nervous too. Do you? Yes. Well, why do you feel that way? I've never met new people before. Only Nathan. I suppose we're in a similar position then. Haven't you met lots of new people before? Well, none like you. Oh. So, I think we need to try and break the ice. Do you know what I mean by that? Yes. Well, what do I mean by that? Overcome initial social awkwardness. This is how it happens, isn't it, Pete? What's that? A guy leans on a guy, and suddenly the whole town just looks the other way. Look, Robbie. Marty Baron just wants to make his mark. He's gonna be here a few years, and then he's gonna move on. Just like he did in New York and Miami. Where are you gonna go? Pete, when we do run the story, I'm gonna need a comment from the Cardinal. We'll, we'll talk again later. Good night, Robbie. So, I'm feeling like the cat's ass because everyone thinks I've been deflowered. I'm surprised at how empowered I felt by this prevarication. I wonder to myself, if I had actually let some college kid violate me in his cockroach infested dorm room, would I like it? Probably not. Ironically, we were studying the Scarlet Letter, but isn't that always the way it is with these teenage tales? The literature you read in class somehow always has a strong connection with whatever angsty adolescent drama is being recounted. I consider this. But then I think, except for Huckleberry Finn, I don't know any teenage boys who have ever run away with a big hulking black guy.